Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bill, and today for Wonder Zone, I am going to be creating three-dimensional objects using nothing but sticks and rubber bands. So today for this project, you're going to need some bamboo skewers, which can be purchased pretty much anywhere, they're not very expensive, and large bag of rubber bands. We're going to be creating some really cool shapes like this one here. This is called an isosahedron. It's a 20-sided object uh, that, again, I built entirely only using my sticks and rubber bands. And I'm going to show you the technique to put these together. First thing, you're going to need to take two sticks and a rubber band. You're going to hold them how you want them to be connected. And in this case, I want them to be about half an inch on the end of each. I'm going to take a rubber band, place it over one of my sticks, and wrap it around the joint at the beginning. Once it's nice and tight, you're going to want to feed that over the top of either stick to create a nice, strong hold. And when you're done, you should end up with something that's pretty strong but also has a lot of give. Now, since we're making three-dimensional shapes, just sticking two of these together isn't going to do much. We need to create shapes. And the most important shape when creating a three-dimensional shape is the triangle. So we're going to create a triangle by adding a third stick. I'm going to use the exact same technique by taking a rubber band and placing it around the outside of my joint till it's nice and tight, and then putting it over one of the sticks. And you're going to continue doing this to connect all three joints. Once all three of your joints are together, you will have a very strong triangle. Now, when we're doing anything that involves engineering, triangles are very strong. There's no points of give. If I had made a square, this would be kind of getting pushed back and forth because there are points of give. This does not have any. So once we have our simple shape, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic three-dimensional shape. It's a type of pyramid. We're going to do that by adding more sticks. Now, we already have joints. We're just going to add more sticks onto those joints. I'm going to take a stick, a rubber band, and I'm going to wrap it around the entire joint, just like I would if it was just another stick. And we're going to do that at all three points. So our triangle is going to have three sticks sticking off of it. Then you should have something that looks like this. We've got our stick and there are three sticks on our triangle. We're going to push those three into a joint up here. You can do these two at a time or all together like I'm doing right now. Take a rubber band, put it around one of the sticks, wrap it around the joint till it's nice and tight, and then put it over one of your sticks. This is a very simple shape. It is called a tetrahedron. It's also known as a pyramid with a triangular base. A pyramid is any kind of structure that has triangles for sides. The pyramids that you think of when you think of Egypt have a square base, and you can create one of those too. So this here is our tetrahedron. You can also do this with much larger sticks. This is the exact same concept. I just use dowel rods instead of these bamboo skewers. And when you use these, you can create really large, really cool shapes. This one here, my isosahedron, if you make this using these three foot dowel rods, you're gonna end up with a structure that's about as tall as I am. It's really neat. And to make this, it's the exact same technique. But instead of only having three sticks on each of my joints, which you notice, here's a joint, one, two, three sticks joint, one, two, three, all the way around. This shape has five sticks on each joint. So here's my joint with five sticks. If you make sure that every single one of your joints has all five sticks on it and they're all attached together, it'll eventually end up looking exactly like this, the 20-sided shape, the isosahedron. Now there are lots of shapes that you can create. I have here a couple of dice that all have different shapes made using these triangles, using these sticks. And you can recreate any of these that you like. Now, if you create something that does not use triangles, like for example, this shape right here, or this one, which has all triangles. If you make something that, tries, that looks kind of like this, you'll notice that these are pentagons. Uh, this will be a much larger shape, but also it won't have as much structural stability. It'll be able to squish it, it'll move back and forth, won't be the best. It'll still be pretty cool, and you can even support that by adding triangles onto your shape. And you can make really big ones doing this, it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you how to make the beginning of that isosahedron, the five-pointed 
20 sided object. Again, the exact same technique, you're just attaching the sticks together. And I always start with a triangle. So once I have my triangle, I can start adding on to it. Instead of just adding a single stick to each of these joints, I'm gonna add three more. And I'm just gonna do this once to show you what it looks like. And you can continue it from there. So I'm gonna add a stick here. I'm gonna add another stick right here. Again, to the exact same place. Just more sticks on the joint. And a fifth. So now I have five sticks all connected to this joint here. And if I wanna start making it look like an isosahedron, all I have to do is attach sticks to the outside and connect them to my existing joints. Each time I do this, I'm gonna form a new triangle. So now that I've added another stick, I have two triangles. I'm gonna add a third stick to the bottom of this shape. And now I have three triangles. One, two, three, around the outside. Once I get these last two sticks on, I will have the very first part of my larger shape, my isosahedron. All right, and we're almost there. Just attach this joint and one more stick. Sometimes they flay like that. Just means you have to do them again. If you do them too fast, sometimes they just come undone. Really easy to fix. Now I'm going to attach the very last stick and you can see what I've created. Once you attach the last rubber band, I now have the very first start of my isosahedron. This is the outside is a pentagon. And this is also a type of pyramid. It is a pentagon based pyramid, but you'll also see that it's the very first part of my isosahedron. If I continue, and right now, these joints only have three sticks, so if I had two more joints to each stick, connect them into triangles all the way around the outside, I'll be that much closer to creating an isosahedron. Really cool shape, it's my personal favorite shape, looks awesome when you make it, it's super impressive. I like to wear this one as a hat, because why not? Thank you for joining us for Wonder Zone. Join us next week for more hands-on learning and fun.